Many thanks to Exenia Marchesini from Pasuk um, Campus for EHL Hospitality Business School. So I know uh, we've done this before and um, I met with you and your colleague. And um, right now what I'm trying to do, um, Exenia, is to have a feel of what has happened at your campus during the summer. So this is part of our uh, college uh, insights into college admissions format that I do. So where I keep my, my audience educated about what's going on at different campuses and how you guys are helping students to, to um, get educated and move forward. So I know during the summer, a lot of campuses do provide a lot of um, programs and education to students. So tell me a little bit about, I guess, a little bit about you again uh, and the time, the work that you do there, and then how was the campus for the summer? Yeah. So hi, everyone. My name is uh, Xenia Marchesini. I'm actually an alumna of EHL, and I now work for the EHL group. And um, I'm based between the Lausanne and the Pasuk campus, which are found here in Switzerland. Um, that's where I'm joining you from. So uh, as uh, Jean did mention, we do have um, some summer programs that we offer on our, um, on our campuses, actually on our three campuses. So two in Switzerland and one in Singapore. And overall, the three campuses, overall the summer, so especially in the July month, we offer a summer camp, which we call the Junior Academy to uh, students that are between 16 and 18 years old. So the um, Junior Academy will allow the student to have kind of like a blend between the academic quality, also the professional training that um, EHL Hospitality Business School is known for and is able to, um, to offer to during bachelor st studies once you graduate from your school. Um, this summer camp, uh, Junior Academy summer camp, it is actually a great program for students between 16 and 18 to try out because um, it is a way for them to understand on whether hospitality and business management could be a great blend for their future um, for their for their future studies after they finish high school and whether this could be also their future career uh, perspective. So that's why we offer a one week uh, summer camp on each campuses, which can be either done singularly or it can be combined throughout the three campuses. So that means that you could start with the Pasu campus, then continue into the Lausanne campus and finish up with Singapore campus. So you would have had a multi-campus experience, lived in different um, locations, and you would have met uh, people that come from all over the world, especially because this program is very international. And you would have done, uh, throughout the weeks, you would have done programs that are completely different uh, from each other. So uh, my understanding is you're talking about a week. So that one week is at each campus. So a student who's interested to test uh, culture sure. and a blend of different um, style of uh, learning and environment and, and country can spend three semester or three three weeks instead of one. Yes, is so that, this, is that correct? Correct, so the student can either pick to go to just one week and at, at a specific campus because they are sure that they want to study on the Singapore campus. So they might just do one week on the Singapore campus or they are maybe still unsure on where they want to be um, studying for the four years of their bachelor. So they decide to do the three campus experience because on each campus, we have a different program for the one week long. Um, Lausanne focuses, focuses on hospitality and business management. Um, Pasuk focuses on culinary and spa hospitality. And um, Singapore um, focuses on luxury and international hospitality. So three different programs um, that have different uh, field trips, uh, different classes and different stations. So, for a student that would take the three weeks instead of just one week, it wouldn't be a repetition, and that's the uh, that's what make actually that what makes actually the the experience worth it because you would be trying out three different things, but they are all part of the same uh, of the same common goal, which is still hospitality and business management at your job. Okay, so a student will have an opportunity to, after this experience, to know where. If that's the field for them, they will be more keen to work and to, to feel more comfortable 
to enjoy the work environment and, and so forth. Is that right? Correct. So this, this summer camp will under will make students understand on whether first hospitality and business management is um, um, an education that would be of their interest once they turn 18. Uh, secondly, it would make them understand on whether um, Singapore in Asia or Switzerland in Europe would be their main location of studies. Um, and it would make them also understand um, a bit more about themselves because they would actually work quite a lot in teams. They would get to know um, many people. So it's also a great way for a student who might be a bit shy maybe to try and um, develop um, his or her personal skills um, as well as meeting people from all over the world. Okay, okay. And this program runs from each one once uh, in July or does any, does, um, any program that starts maybe end of or um, June or they, they run consecutively each month, so each, each week? We have um, three weeks for Lausanne. So we have the first week, the last week of June mm. and the first um, two weeks of, Ju of July in Lausanne. Um, in Pasuk, we have the first week of July and in Singapore, we have the third week of July. So we have different um, weeks available so that um, students that are, you know, um, in different uh, locations or maybe they already have some holidays plan, um, they have more uh, possibilities to um, and options to choose from. So that's why we've given um, almost in the whole month of July and the last week of June, we've given um, more possibilities to pick the week that they would like and this is going to be repeated again for next year so this is going to be the same for next year it's going to be again the last week of june and the first three or four weeks um, of july so that's actually even better because a student not only you have several weeks to decide where you want to go because each campus will have more than one one time repeating that course is that right Correct. There you go. So, for example, you you wouldn't have to repeat Lausanne um, many times because you can start um, in Lausanne and then go to Pasuk or or go to Singapore or vice versa. So mm -hmm. you wouldn't be doing um, the same things again. Um, you wouldn't have to repeat the week in in, in, in Lausanne twice because okay. you would be able to change. So the Lausanne program is gonna be the same thing for like two or three weeks. Correct. So they can only choose one and then move on to the next campus if you would like to experience something different and things right. like that wow that's that's very nice so yeah students and have, have it. yes go right ahead um we actually have a, um another summer camp which well it's not very summer camp because it's going to be during um the autumn um time but it's um going to be between the 23rd of october to the 29th of october where we have another uh, junior academy. Um, we have another junior academy uh, coming up here in Lausanne. So it's about um, business and, um, uh, and innovation. Okay. Wow, that's, that's pretty good. So it's not only the summer, but you guys also have fall, fall um, programs where Correct. students can spend a week just to test whether business in the light of uh, hospitality is where they want to be working at. Correct. Definitely, which is which is a great opportunity, I think, for a student who is maybe 16 or even 17 and is still maybe in between education and still is wanting to explore um, maybe, you know, um, um, more business degree, but then the student might try out a hospitality degree that has a focus as well on business. And they might find it more interesting to um, to actually have this this blend of, of business and hospitality classes, and therefore might change their idea and go for um, for 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 the job. Okay. So now let me uh, understand a little bit more about pricing. How does that work? How, what's the pricing for students who are interested to attend yes. these programs? So in terms of, um, of, of prices, we do actually have um, different prices depending on if the student is, um, is booking the week on its own or whether is booking the week um, together with a second week or even a third week, okay? That means that if the students were to choose 
um, just one um, just one week, for example, mm -hmm. um, the fees would be of um, three thousand nine hundred francs. Um, so I'm talking about francs, which right now can be also equal as as, as euros. Um, so it would be three thousand nine hundred francs for the whole week. So in this time, in this whole week, this three thousand nine hundred francs will be for every everything which means uh, for lodging for uh, for eating on, on campus and off campus for all of the field trips all of the um, um, all of also the uh, movements that they have to do in Switzerland in between this week you know by by going to um, to visit maybe uh, hotels or restaurants uh, during this week so everything is actually included in this 3,900 francs um, the only thing that is not included here is the flight to get to the campus itself so whether it is Lausanne, Pesuk or Singapore, that is not included in the price. We do have an early bird fee, which means that um, because we're looking at next year, uh, we do have the early bird fee that is going to be valid until the end of this year, uh, which is going to be um, uh, 3,500 francs. So it's going to be a discount of 400 francs. Okay. If, the if the students were to choose two weeks, um, it would be of 6,400 francs. And if it would be to be three weeks, it would be 9,000 francs. So the more weeks a student takes, the less the price is going to be. Okay. So now let me understand, uh, there is, is there a price difference since you also have a, a campus outside of Switzerland? No. So if a student were to choose just the campus of Singapore, the price would Singapore. be the same. The only thing is that if the student would have to fly from Europe or, or America, the flight ticket would be more expensive if a student would be to find um, themselves in, in Thailand. Uh, okay. So that's the only thing. Okay. So, I mean, that it's especially that's not included anyway. So uh, they have to figure out. Correct. The flight is not included uh, anywhere. It's really depending on where the, the student is coming from. Okay. And uh, do, do, they, do they have a lot of field trips during that week or, or is this, uh, or is the curriculum? Um, yes, so they are actually a, a full week. Um, well, every week is completely full, meaning that they uh, they usually arrive on Sundays. They check in on Sundays and they check out on a Saturday after. So the Sunday is usually used as a day for them to visit the campus, um, get to know the group of students because this summer camp is usually um, we usually have around thirty to sixty students coming to this camp summer camp. We want to still keep kind of a small group so that we know that students can get to know each other um, and, and, and make friends uh, very quickly. So the first arrival day is gonna be used for them to get to know each other, um, spend some time together and understand how the week is going to look like. And then from Monday to Friday, the days are gonna be very different from each other um, because they're gonna go, um, they're gonna start in the mornings um, and the day could be that they will go on a field trip, which means that they will go and visit a five-star hotel that uh, is going to show them um, the hotel premises, but as well the back office of a hotel. So a student that, you know, we usually always see the front hand uh, of a hotel. We always see the lobby, uh, the restaurant itself, but we never see what's behind it. We don't know how the housekeeping department works or the uh, front office department works or even sales and finance. So these are the things that also you will visit during uh, your field trip of a hotel. Um, you will then also have um, workshops on campus. Uh, for example, if we're talking about the uh, campus week in Pasuk, you actually have a workshop in, um, in sushi making and also pastry making. So that would mean that um, during those two days, you will have a workshop where you will learn on how to make sushi um, and also another workshop workshop where you would learn how to do some pastry. So it will be the chefs, the pastry chef that will decide which kind of pastry you will uh, you will learn on that day and you will make it from scratch. So um, really from, from the preparation to afterwards the decoration and then to, uh, to eating it, of course. Um, also as well, you will have some classes where you're going to get to know a bit more about, you know, um, for example, innovation and business, um, hospitality here in Lausanne, more about luxury in Singapore, and more about hospitality and culinary in, in Pasuk. And you will have to work on a project throughout the whole week, and which will have to be then um, presented on Friday in front of um, the, uh, the professors here on the EHL campuses. 
and the the best let's say group project will win an award and on the friday evening you will have a gala dinner which will be an opportunity for the students to um be able to say goodbye to each other and uh, and really celebrate the one week together um in a, in a in a in a celebratory um environment wow so when you you spoke about luxury in singapore uh, can you elaborate a little bit as far as what type of luxury we, we, you're referring to there? Yes. So on the um, Singapore campus, you know, um, Singapore as, a, as an environment is very international. And as well, um, the uh, hotels that we now find in, uh, in Singapore are actually luxury hotels. So when I'm talking about luxury, I talk about especially the luxury hospitality uh, business. So that would mean that um, there will be a lot of uh, field trips to um, hotels, especially where we maybe have either partners from Yatel or even alumni of Yatel. So that means that, for example, the general manager would be an Yatel alumni that graduated five or 20 years ago and will be hosting, therefore, a tour of the hotel and maybe workshops on the hotel premises. Okay, um, then what, it's, what it will what is actually very interesting um, in um, at the Singapore um, campus is that you will also be able to experience and visit the uh, Changi Airport group. So you will also be able to to get to know some um, very uh, international companies and um, hotels uh, brands as well. Um, what is great as well about uh, about Singapore is of course food. Um, so the fine dining experience that you will get in Singapore is quite um, something that you don't find everywhere in the world. So also getting to know how the street food in Singapore works, but also combining it with a fine dining experience. So students will be um, really faced with all type of, uh, of situations, all type of, 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 of different cultures and environments. And of course, also here, they will have to work on a, on a group um, project. So all over the three campuses, the group project is going to be there, but of course it's going to be changed. Uh, it's gonna change depending on the, on the subject, let's say of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the campus itself. Okay, so all these projects will be group projects to, 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 um, to, for the students to understand how teamwork, that's a field that requires 99.9 percent from my experience when i was there visiting you and 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 um and uh, mr trivella that yeah. it's mostly about teamwork all the correct. time correct so that's why we actually already want the students to understand and to know that by joining yatel it would mean that they would be always surrounded by a team environment and they would have to work in teams quite a lot especially because afterwards you know in in in, in, a, in a work environment, we are all part, we're mostly all part of a team. So it's great to start understanding and starting to know how to work in a team at a younger age already. I, I totally agree with that because um, this is one thing that makes people do more as a team when we contribute and we see what our work is doing and everybody else is sharing their own ideas and makes it a little bit in a in, in a more grandiose way, the find the, the the finishing of what we, we put together as a team. Um, mm -hmm. So, do you guys, when you say one team will win the grand prize, is that what what's the grand prize looks like for for a team that wins it? So the awards are going to be quite different. Um, um, I'm not really sure what specific awards the student will be getting. The student group will be getting, but usually because we have an EHL boutique here on our campus, we have actually um, pullovers, hats, um, um, pins and pens and and more stuff, diaries as well. Um, so let's say that the um, it could be that the group that wins will get um, a collaboration of all of these things. Okay. I have two questions. The first one is, does a student who's, who's, who did the academy with you guys and later on when they turn 18 is interested to attend your campus, does that tip the scale when they apply to EHL Business School? 
So for us, when we look into applications to our um, to our campuses, we always are uh, looking that the student, of course, uh, meets the entry requirements. But is what is very important at YHL is also that the, um, the student is socially involved in activities, um, sports, uh, charities, or um, anything else that interests the student. So that means that if the student has participated in the junior academy, we, seen, we see that the student has already been involved and is already quite interested in joining YHL due to the fact that they've attended one week or two weeks or three weeks um, summer camp program. So um, it's already, by, by joining this program, it already, the summer camp, the student will already understand much more about EHL, very much more about the bachelor program itself, and know more about, um, you know, the campuses, uh, the committees that are present on our campus, what it means to be an alumni at EHL. So um, the student that will visit our summer camp will have more knowledge about our campus and will be able to have a better uh, maybe interview uh, during the application process. Sounds great, sounds great. Now, if a student is really interested to attend the program, but may not have the mean to pay the $3,000, almost $4,000, um, does EHL Business School have some uh, scholarship or discounted pricing that students can take advantage of, uh, as of uh, aside from the uh, early early bird that you mentioned. Any yes. other discount that the student can benefit from? So for example, the way to achieve a discount um, is um, for example, if um, we actually organize quite a few events throughout the year in different countries uh, and in different cities. And in this in these places, we, we organize um, kind of like a presentation about EHL and different activities where students and families are invited to. Um, and during this activity, during this event, we um, offer some activities and where the, the person that will maybe win, for example, a certain activity, they will receive a prize. And this prize could be, for example, a 25% um, discount for the Junior Academy or, or, or something like that. Also, we actually have um, a business case competition coming up. Uh, this is an online competition that we offer on the three content on the three continents, so in Europe, America, and Asia. It's a business case competition, so um, it's a competition for students that are in their tenth, eleventh, and twelfth grade, so in their last three years of high school. Um, we will we're looking for students who are interested in joining this because they want to get to know more about hospitality and business. They want to hear from. Um, um, from alumni of EHL that have studied at EHL and now and are currently working in the business um, in the in a certain business, they want to hear from them. They also want to get to know students from all parts of the world and the continent, and they need to work together um, and create a project that will then have to be presented um, to the Commission of EHL. And this is um, a project that is done in a group of three. Uh, and here, for example, the rewards will be um, depending on what um, on, on, on what stage, let's say the, 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 the group has won, whether it is first, second or third place or third place. Um, the rewards could be to have um, a discount in Junior Academy, whether it is 25, 50 percent or actually um, a full um, 100 percent discount over the Junior Academy. So this could be definitely a great way for a student to be able to um, to have a discount price for the Junior Academy by participating in our business competition, which is actually coming up um, next month, at the end of next month. Exenia Marchesini, thank you very much for such valuable information. Thanks uh, to you and thanks for listening to me. <laughs> yes, uh, this is very, very informational for, you know, the audience will have a chance to listen to this and understand that uh, EHL Business School not only has several campuses, they, they have an opportunity to enjoy uh, cultures from different countries like Singapore or different places here in Switzerland, uh, in, in Pasuk and, and Lausanne. And students also who are more keen to have a broader experience can spend three weeks in three different, two different continents and three different places. 
Um, so thank you very much. And I look forward to catching up with you soon. Me too. Um,